Hello everyone, my name is Roby Velez and in this video I'm going to talk about my final project for artificial intelligence titled Testing the Evolvability of Novelty Search. Now my central question is, does novelty search produce agents that are more evolvable than a fitness-based evolutionary algorithm? Now I'm going to unpack that question throughout this video and explain terms like novelty search and evolvable. What I won't be able to explain are what evolutionary algorithms are. I assume the viewer already has some background information on the topic. Novelty search was invented by Kenneth Stanley and Joel Lehman and first proposed in their paper Exploiting Open-Endedness to Solve Problems to Search for Novelty. Essentially, novelty search is a type of evolutionary algorithm that rewards novel behaviors instead of proximity to an objective. In their paper, they use the following maze. The goal is to evolve a controller to get a robot from start location all the way to the goal location. To evolve the controllers, they're going to use a fitness-based GA and novelty search. In the fitness-based EA, the proximity of an agent to the objective determines its fitness. So in this case, we have two controllers, controller A and controller B. Controller A has a higher fitness because it has the shortest straight line distance to the goal. Because it has a higher fitness, it has a higher probability of passing on its genes to the next generation and creating more and more robots to get closer and closer to the goal. Now, do you see any potential pitfalls with this technique and in this maze? Many of the controllers wind up getting stuck in the dead end just below the goal. This is called a local optimum. This happens because all the controllers are preoccupied with getting close to the goal. So they keep going up and up even though they hit the wall. Now if they just explore a little bit, they might actually find a path to the finish line. But in exploring this path, they risk getting lower fitness and therefore getting killed off. Novelty search rewards controllers that exhibit novel behaviors instead of simply proximity to the goal. So if we had two controllers, one that sent a robot to point A and one that sent a robot to point B, then these two controllers would both be novel. That's because they're sending robots to different parts of the mazes and they're exploring different areas. Now if we had another controller that sent a robot to point C, this controller wouldn't be very novel because it's so close to point A. It's not really exploring new territory. Stan Lehman found that novelty search explored the maze better and found the goal faster than fitness-based EA. So if we look at some of their plots, on the lower left-hand side, we see the final location for all the robots evolved with fitness-based EA. Now, it's clear to see that most of the agents uh, were in the dead end right below the goal and didn't really explore the, the maze much. On the right, we see with novelty search that most of the agents explore the maze wandered about and found the goal much easier. In 2011, Stanley Lehman published a paper comparing the evolvability of novelty search and fitness-based EA. Now, evolvability is the measure of how different you are, your children are from you. So, for example, cheetahs have very low evolvability. They have very low diversity. Nearly every cheetah is the same to every other cheetah. Whereas dogs have very high evolvability. So, with it, even within the litter of puppies, you can have some dogs that have different coloration fur or just different physical features. Offspring that have a wider range of traits are more likely to survive. So for example, if a disease starts to affect one cheetah, it's very likely it will affect all cheetahs because they're all very, very similar. But if a disease affects one group of dogs, it's very unlikely it will affect all dogs because they all are somewhat different and have a high range of diversity. To test the evolvability of novelty search, Stanley Lehman evolved controllers with both fitness and novelty search to solve the original maze. Then generate offspring for these successful controllers and measured their level of diversity. This led to their evolvability score. If you look at the graph on the right, you can see that the novelty search agents have a higher evolvability than the fitness based agents. To investigate this concept, I generated controllers that could solve the maze with both fitness-based CA and novelty search. I then took these controllers and put them into new mazes. If the novelty search controllers are more evolvable, we should solve the new mazes faster. In the end, it turns out that novelty search does not solve the new mazes faster. If you look at the bar graph on the bottom right, 
you can see that for each location, non research and fitness took a certain number of evaluations to find the solution. Um, a low number is good because it took less evaluations, it was faster. Um, non research and fitness are really, really close, and there is no statistical difference between either of the manipulations. So, while non research may produce more diverse offspring, this does not seem to convey any advantage to solving new bases. Lastly, I'd like to thank my advisor Jeff Plume, lab mates in the Evolving AI Lab, and classmates in my AI course for their help and advice. Also, thank you for watching, and I hope you're able to take something away from this video.